This video is brought to you by the University Writing Center, a unit of the Department of Rhetoric and Writing at the University of Texas at Austin. You can contact us at uwc.utexas.edu. Hi, I'm Lynn with the University Writing Center, and I'd like to chat with you for just a few minutes about the great crippler of graduate student writing, nominalizations. Um, nominalizations occur when we take a perfectly good verb or an adjective and we nominalize it or change it into a noun. And uh, let me give you some examples. So analyze, perfectly good verb, uh, would become analysis. Conclude, conclusion. And argue would become argument. Um, and since we morphed this verb or adjective into a noun, uh, and we want to put it in a sentence, we have to surround it with other words to let it make sense within that sentence. And so uh, we analyze the data, would be nominalized and turned into, we conducted an analysis of the data. We concluded that pH affected the rate, would become, we came to the conclusion that pH affected the rate. And elephants argue like people, would become uh, elephants conduct arguments like people. So nominalizations, as it turns out, are really common in academic writing. And as a graduate student, I want to write like an academic because I'm no longer an undergrad, I'm a graduate. And so I start imitating academic articles. And the next thing I know, I have nominalizations all throughout my work. And, and that's okay. The reason why academics like nominalizations is because they produce a more abstract uh, or formal text. And, and nominalizations convey a more objective tone. So it, it lifts the, uh, the writing up to, to a higher, to an academic level. Um, the counter argument to that made by Dr. Helen Sword is that nominalizations also transform simple and straightforward writing into something that's wordy and often confusing. Um, and so there's this uh, decision that we have to make about whether we want to write for academics or whether we want to write for educated laymen. Um, and then we adjust our language accordingly. Um, so when I write and when I work with students at the Writing Center, I take the second approach. I, I want to help um, our readers access the information in our writing. And so I um, recommend and talk to students about taking those nominalizations when we find them, converting that noun back into the adjective or the verb that it originally started as, and reconstruct the sentence so it's written at a, a, a much easier to access, easier to understand a sentence. So let me give you some examples. The professor's belief is that the research was carelessly done. Um, we can simplify that and make it, I think, a little more clear by writing the professor believes the students researched carelessly. We have a clearly defined and articulated budgeting philosophy. Um, I think would be better written, we defined and articulated our budgeting philosophy clearly. And then finally, the assumption that creative ability has a relationship to intelligence warrants further examination. Um, would more plainly be written, we must examine how creative ability relates to intelligence. So that's just a brief tour of this literary device known as a nominalization. Um, I encourage you, if you have any questions, to uh, shoot me an email. Uh, at this address or swing by the Writing Center and talk to any of the consultants and we'll be happy to, to tell you all about um, nominalizations. Um, thanks a lot. We'll talk to you later.